good morning. This is the final let's find every kilogram we can out of our suitcases because somebody was over. I don't know what you're talking about. And uh, so yeah, super tired. Didn't get much sleep myself. She got a nice little nap, but we're finally off. It's uh, 5.30 in the morning. So we got a 7.45 as our flight, which is 5.45 check-in. And we're gonna hopefully make it through with all the weight and the thicknesses of these backpacks. And that's the problem when you put your entire life into two suitcases and a backpack each. Here we are, Tirana Airport. It's pretty dead right now. We got through Preston. There's like nobody here. We, we didn't. We did not have to hurry. Yeah, it was literally so. We came two hours ahead, like good plane people, but we didn't need to. We're honestly, it's quite dead. And this is the whole airport. It's they not very coffee though. Very big, but yes, they do have good coffee. So, her knees fit. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't sit like this. Or they're pushing on the chair. It's a short flight though, so whatever. An hour and a half. And then we have 11 hours, so my legs will rest. He has to suffer for just a little bit. So this is a cell phone. Normal size. That's how much room. With the cell phone. Okay, we just got into the airport and look at this. We're in this cool airport lounge. It is absolutely enormous. All free, by the way. Well, we have points, but once you, if you pay, it's like 50 euros or something. Because we're here 11 hours, and uh, so yeah, there's just unlimited food, whatever you want, alcohol, showers. If you have kids, they have a whole kids' room, stuff like that. Um, they have an outdoor patio out here, which is really rare in an airport, um, and it just keeps going. They have sleeping lounges, everything. So she's gonna want to shower later. She's eating some snacks. She's having some whiskey and coke. This is nice. She doesn't even know what she's eating. Not a clue what she's eating, but she likes it. We are here and there is going to be a full flight. It is crazy busy, but this is the last leg and her backpack weighs 5 million pounds. No, legally we, that's a joke. We're sneaking it on. And I actually have, look at that, I, I have room. room. I have a few inches, maybe. Bigger than, five. it's like two phones, okay? Yeah, until they tilt this back, but you know. Yeah, yeah so boarding was crazy because like they called it early and so we didn't even realize it was boarding until they were already kind of boarding. And the line was the longest line I've ever seen boarding a plane. Because it went all the way down the hall and then like looped back. Yeah, it was it was pretty crazy. Imagine imagine your favorite ride at an amusement park. That's how long the line was. So we're just filling out these visitor cards. Um, also, you have to have, you know, your normal QR code doesn't count. You have to have a one pass. And so we lost about 20 minutes or so while they put did it for us on their phone and then we took a picture of their screen. And so it's an entirely different QR code. And uh, so uh, make sure you do that ahead of time, get your one pass done. Um, nobody told us, they were surprised we weren't allowed on the plane without one, so. I don't know how that happened. Anyhow, um, and then when you get here, you gotta fill in these arrival cards. And then just straight through customs. So, so far it looks very, very simple. Keep in mind, you need a Filipino phone number in order to have uh, the free Wi-Fi here. 
So you have to get a SIM card apparently downstairs once you go through everything. So we haven't been able to connect in order to tell our driver we're here. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But just keep that in mind also. Free Wi-Fi is not free until you have a phone number. All right, we found our driver. He said he's going to meet us there at Bay 11. It's uh, very, very hot here, as we expected, 40 degrees. And also, I came out to find the driver, and we have these two big carts with lots of luggage. And I didn't know if you leave just out that door, you can't go back in, even if you can like literally see your luggage. I just I want to say here, folks, that I pushed both of those. So if anyone thinks they can mess with me, just remember, I pushed four suitcases in and two backpacks by myself. Just a flex. Don't mess with me. She's a champ. So yeah, don't leave the airport right after you get your luggage unless you're done in the airport. Uh, that's unusual for me that you have to go through security again. Anyway. Drivers here, we have SIM cards, 1,000 pesos, uh, get you 98 gigabytes, they're cheapest they have at the airport. I guess we'll find out if that's really all that cheap, but it's 98 gigabytes, sounds pretty crazy. And uh, yeah, off we go. Okay, I'll load it in our driver. Look at the size of this thing. It's huge, so we have lots of room now. Yeah, actually I'm gonna swap with you. Okay, more baby. leg room over there. Okay, baby. So I can turn sideways. Ooh. Is this the Good to be here. Okay, so we got a very economical apartment on Airbnb. A whole whopping twenty dollars US a month. Oh, sorry, a night. Jesus, $20 a night. A My goodness, not a month. Oh. So you got your nice of glasses. They got a little fan here. The air conditioning is only in the bedroom. So when you select air conditioning, it doesn't necessarily mean it's everywhere. The guy's going to get us another bottle of water, which is nice. Get a fridge. Got a he's dryer. Really cool as well. Yeah, he's really cool. He's super nice. He's an expat. He's very like informative. And he's been here for over 12 years. Yeah, 12 so years. So he's very knowledgeable. From America. All right, and up here... The kitchen floor, I'm uh, not kitchen. The bathroom floor is a little wet because she cleaned it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So we got a bathroom here. Cool. The shower. Small little sink. Okay, and then we keep this closed because... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, right. it's big. Right? I was expecting... Look at how cute. Oh, lights, lights. desk. Oh, yeah, let's get a light going on. Okay, something like that. Maybe there's another light switch somewhere. Okay. All right. So we got a little desk here, a little computer on it. Oh, I think that's the uh, era of video surveillance, actually. Got some closet space, a little nook. A little vanity. I like uh, it. It's like built into the wall. Oh, there's stuff in there, so I'm not going to show that. And there you go. So they got so, this little air conditioner yes. here. Yes. Not stop the air conditioner. Oh. The air conditioner is up there. Uh, this is the exhaust. But the cool thing about it is that you can close the window in there. So that it's like a little balcony oh. outside, right? But if you close it, then it sucks the air. And then you keep this open a little bit. Uh -huh. And it pushes the cold air back in. Oh. So it's like... Or use it. What? Or sit out there and use it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, so the windows are closed there, but you can open them. For Quaint a little bit. Look at the fancy. It's like 80s ski jacket i like it yeah so there we go so yes not the penthouse we had in albania obviously but that this is what we were expecting to come down here we're going to get things at a very low cost still everything works great and uh we're right in the heart we're two blocks from walking street which is where we're going to go in a couple of minutes because well we just got here and time to relax and uh, anyway, uh, and we're going to do this one week here, one week in another city, and so on and so forth, until we figure out where we're going to live permanently, which we're, then we will look for a place that um, that is pricier. Ours, yeah, us. something more pricier. Um, but uh, we don't want to spend it on these temporary places. You're going to spend most of the time out of the room anyway. Yeah. 
So, exploring the this adventure. is really great though, honestly. I know, I was, I'm very happy. I, okay, my biggest fear with Airbnbs is that like there either isn't a place, like the place they're advertising isn't real, or it's, it was real like five years ago. But no, this is good, this is good. This Everything is, good. is perfect. Okay, let's go to Walking Street. And so this is the outside, we've got a gate. And a neighbor's got a sorry sorry, which is awesome. Just like a convenience store you put in the back of your house. So that's neat. If we need anything, it's right there. So yeah, it's nice and quiet and nice clean area and two blocks away. And here we go. Walking street. Wow. Lucifer. Massage 24 hours. No, it's the beginning right there. That's the end. Well, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So this place is what? Puyo Mo Kokomo. I'm sitting oh. there. I'm definitely sitting there. You want to sit there? Yeah, and I just want to creep, okay? I'm going to be the biggest creeper. <laughs> wow, pirate. I want to go there. Pirate Viking, happy hour. If I were to go, I would want to dress up as a pirate. Right. Oh, look at this girl with her ears. Oh, look look at the girl with the ears. Straight ahead of you. Oh, You're missing it. Kids. She's going in. Okay, but there's kids. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, that was... It doesn't take much, guys. She sees kittens, she's all over it. Super cool. <laughs> they're not interested. No, they not don't yet. like you. Just wait until I get cat food. I'm just gonna have like a little bag of cat food, and I'm going to get all the cats. Basically. Right. But like that uh, cat. I like the oh, look at that's cosplay. I like it. Is it a bar or a cafe? It's a bar. It's a bar. Okay. And everybody's all dressed up. Yeah. Nice. Okay, we will later. Hiring model dancer. Oh, Pink Flamingo. Were you looking for a job? Obviously. <laughs> I had Tony's tags, you know? Yeah, well. There goes a couple of the dancers now. Levi's. Oh no, what does that say? Level three. Oh, why did I say Levi's? Wow. Isn't there a place called that here? Levi's? Yeah. Isn't that, um, um... No, I know, but... Or no, Levy's or something? Levi's. There's the gold bar. Um, I think you... I think it's so pretty. They're McDonald's. I'm oh, already McDonald's. sweating. No. Not yet. I don't want to get it right now. Go-go bar. Very cool. I've oh, seen probably about a hundred expats so far. It's 5.30. Yeah. Yeah, so it's still kind of early. Peril what? Peril Bar. Pretty. That's close, but it's... Oh, yeah. look at that. <laughs> it reminds me of, like, in video games, um, at all the time, female, like, armor is just very, like, a bikini, basically, and it's supposed to be armor. But then you see the man armor, and it's, like, decked out in steel and stuff. It's a little intense. Yeah, but the girl's very exposed. Yeah, hers, but it's like you, you see all like the ribs and the like the vulnerable areas that like if a sword were to slash, that's not the spot you want, want to be uncovered. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we passed four birds. I don't know how. Look, look at that Oh wow! Look at the kitten up top. You're so skinny. It's not like Cambodia where they had monkeys crawling around instead. Yeah. All right, let's turn around. Go back. And of course, you want to go shopping. That's what you do. Okay, let me. Let's go find. All right. So. I think I'm super thirsty. I think that's what it is. Anyway, um, 
not terribly busy, but it seems to be picking up like, slightly, yeah. right? It is only seven o'clock. So seven o'clock, that's true. How often do you go out at a seven right. o'clock? But I think that um, this is an expat place, right? Where expats go. I don't know. I think once the sun goes down, they're ready to go. Local drinks, 100 pesos, 6 p.m. Yeah. to 9 p.m. Is it for only locals, though? No, local drinks. Like I know, I'm joking. Local. I'm joking. Anyway, we are going to go to this cosplay place. It's already looking like a lot of people want to go in. Nice. Right? I just want their outfits. Right? You I'm just want their outfits. <laughs> I'll be like, I, I'll apply. Yeah. Oh, they kind of look busy. Or are they all just shift changing right now? I think they are shift changing. Oh, okay, okay. It's pretty busy. Uh, yeah, we want to go. Is yeah. it busy? Is there people in there? Yeah? All right. Okay. okay, we just came out of the cosplay. They were really nice, but it's kind of awkward because on one side you sit and then on the other side they kind of stand and like dance for you but there's not much dancing going on um but we were talking to people yeah. at one point. it was a, it was a little awkward and i'm i feel bad because I, I can't make eye contact with people so i'm just looking at the ground looking at my drink but otherwise the ladies were really nice and we were like talking just complimenting one another back and forth so okay so here's the truth they were absolutely stunned by her beauty and were constantly saying, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. You look so pretty. Meanwhile, I look like a preschool teacher right now. She this doesn't. Is the lie that I she did. doesn't. She looks amazing and they were all complimenting her like crazy. And uh, yeah, you were like the most popular person in that club, right? I gotta tell you. Honestly, I feel like I was complimented more than they normally compliment people, to be, oh, to be honest. Yeah, because they usually just compliment the men, but they were all over her. And But I was reciprocating it because they were really pretty. And I think they don't get enough uh, love for that. Yeah, so go check out cosplay, why not? There you go, famous Phillies. Open oh, all the time. The kind of busy over here though. Hotel Tiger. Oh, you can't even see it. It's too dark. Oh, be careful. Yeah, I saw that. High voltage, wow. We got electric gates. A lot of protection on that one. Oh, there's a few towers over there. It says it's the Candy Towers. K-A-N-D-I. Hmm. These are the jeepneys. Came from World War II when the Americans left. They converted all the jeeps into these cool taxis. She found a swarm of dogs and she's willing to go into the darkness to find them. And a bunch of people sitting outside. So we have no idea. But she loves dogs that much, so. A 
It doesn't look like she's going to get a lot of love. No, 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 no. No love. Well, you tried. You went into Next the dark time. alley for dogs. Honestly, if there weren't people around, I would still try. <laughs> of course you would. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna bring dog food next time, and then they're gonna be like, what am I barking at? <laughs> Dinner? All right, I think it's time we go home. This is the place there's that's right there. behind us, oh, right beside us. Oh, there's more dogs. Okay. I'm getting a dog. But I think that's the end of this video. We are finally in the Philippines, Angeles City. Unbelievably cool place.